Good morning and howdy everybody. I am here for your early morning Bible readings as we read through the Bible together in 2023 and we start today in Exodus 21. I hope y'all had good rest and I got my coffee y'all. It is still early here. It's still dark out. And it's very cold. It's 15 degrees. I need my coffee, y'all. I got the heater on. But just knowing it's cold outside makes me cold inside. <laughs> and there's a little bit of snow. The snow's supposed to start coming down pretty good around 11 o'clock this morning and last all the way until 3 or 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. So. Got some more of the white stuff coming. <coughs> All right. Y'all sit back. Get your coffee if you want to. Sit back and relax and let's get rolling here. And y'all see how I'm all slumped over on the right side? I don't know why I'm doing that now. Ever since I broke my leg, my back hurts because of the way I sit and walk. That's just me. All right, here we go. Exodus 21. Now the uh, uh, and if you missed yesterday's or uh, or just now joining us, yesterday we got through the part where Moses went up on the mount and God gave him the Ten Commandments and uh, read the Ten Commandments was the last part of yesterday's reading, yesterday morning's reading. All right, so we're picking up in chapter 21 now. It says, Now these are the judgments which thou shalt set before them. If thou buy a Hebrew, Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh year he go, shall go out for free for nothing. If he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master have given him a wife and she have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters, and he shall go out by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free, then his master shall bring him unto the judges, he shall also bring him to the door or to the door post, and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. I think that would hurt. I don't understand that. Why would his master bore his ear through with an awl? Oh, goodness gracious. Anyway, and if a man sell his daughter to be a maidservant, she shall not go out as the men servants do. If she please not her master who hath betrothed herself, her to himself, then she shall let her be redeemed. To sell her unto a strange nation, he shall have no power, seeing he hath dealt deceitfully with her. And if he have betrothed her unto his son, he shall deal with her after the manner of daughters. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage, she shall not diminish. And if he do not these three unto her, then shall she go out free without money. He that smiteth a man so that he die shall surely be put to death. And if a man lie not in wait, but God deliver him into his hand, then I will appoint thee a place whither he shall flee. But if a man come presumptuously upon his neighbor to slay him with gall, thou shalt take him from mine altar that he may die. And he that smiteth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. 
and he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And he that curseth his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. And if men strive together and one smite another with a stone or with his fist, and he not die but keepeth his bed, if he rise again and walk abroad upon his staff, then shall he that smote him be quit, only he shall pay for the loss of his time, and shall cause him to be thoroughly healed. And if a man smite his servant or his maid with a rod, and he die under his hand, he shall surely be punished. Notwithstanding, if he continue a day or two, he shall not be punished, for he is his money. If men strive and hurt a woman with child so that her fruit depart from her, and yet no mischief follow, he shall surely be punished, according as a woman's husband will lay upon him, and he shall pay as the judges determine. And if any mischief follow, then thou shalt give life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burning for burning, wound for wound, wound, strike for strike. And if a man smite the eye of his servant or the eye of his maid that it perish, he shall let him go free for his eye's sake. And if he smite out his manservant's tooth or his maidservant's tooth, he shall let him go free for his tooth's sake. If an ox gore a man or a woman that they die, then the ox shall be surely stoned, and his flesh shall not be eaten, but the owner of the ox shall be quit. <clears throat> but if the ox were wont to push with his horn in time past, and it hath been testified to his owner, and he hath not kept him in, but that he hath killed a man or a woman, the ox shall be stoned, and his owner also shall be put to death. If there be laid on him a sum of money, then he shall give for the ransom of his life whatsoever is laid upon him, whether he have gored a son or have gored a daughter according to this judgment, shall it be done unto him. If the ox shall push a manservant or a maidservant, he shall give unto their master thirty shekels of silver, and the ox shall be stoned. And if a man shall open a pit, or if a man shall dig a pit and not cover it, and an ox or an ass fall therein, the owner of the pit shall make it good, and give money unto the owner of them, and the dead beast shall be his. And if one man's ox hurt another that he die, then they shall sell the live ox and divide the money of it, and the dead ox also they shall divide. Or if it be known that the ox hath used to push in times past, and his owner hath not kept him in, he shall surely pay ox for ox, and the dead shall be his own. If a man shall steal an ox or a sheep and kill it or sell it, he shall restore five oxen for an ox and four sheep for a sheep. If a thief be found breaking up and be smitten that he die, there shall be shed, there shall no blood be shed for him. If the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him, for he shall make full restitution if he have nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft.
if the theft be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be ox or ass or sheep, he shall restore double. If a man shall cause a field or vineyard to be eaten and shall put it in his feast and shall feed in another man's field of the best of his own field and of the best of his own vineyard shall he make restitution. If fire break out and catch in thorns so that the stacks of corn or the standing corn or the field be consumed therewith, he that kindleth the fire shall surely make restitution. If a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to keep and it be stolen out of the man's house, if the thief be found, let him pay double. If the thief be not found, then the master of the house shall be brought unto the judges to see whether he have put his hand unto his neighbor's good. For all manner of trespass, whether it be for ox, for ass, for sheep, for raiment, or for any other manner of lost thing, which another challengeth to be his, the cause of both parties shall come before the judges, and whom the judges shall condemn, he shall pay double unto his neighbor. If a man deliver unto his neighbor an ass, or an ox, or a sheep, or any beast to keep, and it die, or be hurt, or driven away, no man seeing it, then shall an oath of the Lord be between them both, that he hath not put his hand unto his neighbor's goods, and the owner of it shall accept thereof, and he shall not make it good. And if he be stolen from him, he shall make restitution unto the owner thereof, if it be torn in pieces, then let him bring it for witness, and he shall not make good that which was torn. And if a man borrow aught of his neighbor, and it be hurt or die, the owner thereof being not with it, he shall surely make it good. But if the owner thereof be with it, he shall not make it good. If it be a hired thing, it came for his hire. And if a man entice a maid that it that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. If her father utterly refuse to give her unto him, he shall pay money according to the dowry of virgins. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Whosoever lieth with a beast shall surely be put to death. He that sacrificeth unto any god, save unto, the, save unto the Lord only, he shall be utterly destroyed. Thou shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Ye shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child. If thou afflict them in any wise, and they cry out all unto me, I will surely hear their cry, and my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with a sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. If thou lend money to any of my people that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him as an usurer, neither shalt, there, shalt thou lay upon him usury. Hang on a minute, y'all. I need some more coffee. Y'all are welcome to grab your cup and Enjoy your cup along with me every morning. Or if you drink coffee in the evening, you can do it in the evening when I do the evening readings. I don't care. 
All right, let's keep on going here. If thou at all take thy neighbor's raiment to pledge, thou shalt deliver it unto him by the son, by that the sun goeth down. For that is his covering only, it is his raiment for his skin, wherein shall he sleep. And it shall come to pass when he crieth unto me, that I will hear, for I am gracious. Thou shalt not revile the gods, nor curse the ruler of thy people. Thou shalt not delay to offer the first of thy ripe fruits, and of thy liquors, the firstborn of thy son, shalt thou give unto me. Likewise shalt thou do with thine oxen, and with thy sheep seven days it shall be with his dam, on the eighth day thou shalt give it me, and ye shall be holy men unto me, neither shall ye eat any flesh that is torn of beasts and the field, ye shall cast it to the dogs. <clears throat> thou shalt not raise a false report, put not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Neither shalt thou countenance a poor man in his cause. If thou meet thine enemy's ox or his ass going astray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him. If thou see the ass of him that hateth thee lying under his burden, thou wouldest forbear to help him. Thou shalt surely help with him. Thou shalt not rest the judgment of thy poor in his cause. Keep thee far from a false matter, and the innocent and righteous slay thou not, for I will not justify the wicked. <clears throat> and thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise, and perverteth the words of the righteous. And thou shalt not oppress a stranger, for ye know the heart of a stranger, seeing ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. And six years thou shalt sow thy land, and shalt gather in the fruits thereof. But the seventh year thou shalt let it rest, and lie still, that the poor of thy people may eat, and what they leave the beast of the field shall eat. In like manner thou shalt deal with thy vineyard and with thy olive yard. Six days thou shalt do thy work, and on the seventh day thou shalt rest, that thine ox and thine ass may rest and the son of thy handmaid, and the stranger may be refreshed. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect, and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Three times thou shalt keep a feast unto me in the year. <coughs> Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days as I commanded thee in the time appointed of the month Abib, for in it thou camest out from Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. And the feast of harvest, the first fruits of thy labors, which thou hast sown in the field, and the feast of end gathering, which is in the end of the year, when thou hast gathered in thy labors out of the field. Three times in the year all thy males shall appear before the Lord God. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavened bread, neither shall the fat of my sacrifice remain until the morning. The first 
of the first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring into the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not seeth a kid in his mother's milk. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and they and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an ad adversary unto thine adversaries. For mine angel shall go before thee and bring thee in unto the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites, the Hivites and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do after their works, but thou shalt utterly overthrow them and quiet break down their images. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. I will send my fear before thee, and will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come. Y'all get that? He's talking to the new nation Israel before they became Israel. Well, he was already calling them Israel, but they weren't in their land yet. I will send my fear before thee, and I will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come, and I will make all thine enemies turn their backs unto thee. And I will send hornets before thee, which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite from before thee. I will not drive them out from before thee in one year, lest the land become desolate and a beast of the field multiply against thee. But little and little I will drive them out from before thee until thou be increased and inherit the land. And I will set thy bounds. All right, this is it, y'all. Listen, listen up. All you so-called Palestinians out there, y'all listen up. And I will set thy bounds from the Red Sea even unto the Sea of the Philistines and from the desert unto the river, for I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand and thou shalt drive them out before thee. Thou shalt make no covenant with them nor with their gods, they shall not dwell in thy land, lest they make thee sin against me. For if thou serve thy gods, it surely shall be a snare unto thee. Well, that wasn't what I was thinking about. Somewhere in here, and we're going to find it soon, uh, the Lord gives them the exact boundaries for the country of Israel. And God wrote that deed and everybody better abide by it but we hadn't come to it yet we'll be finding it before too long that's it y'all i read through chapter 24 of exodus i did i forgot what i did anyway we finished 24 and i'll be back with just a little speech that i feel compelled to make and then I'll be back later this evening with New Testament reading. And I may sneak in some New Testament, uh, some reading from the Psalms again, like I did a couple of days ago. I'm going to do that. 
from time to time when I think about it and have time. But that's it for now. God bless y'all. Y'all stay warm. If it's cold where you're at, if it's hot where you're at, stay cool. I love you. I appreciate you. I love y'all's comments. I'm getting better at comments again. I've still got a long way to go, but y'all just bear with me and eventually we'll get there, I hope. God bless you, my friends. Y'all have a wonderful day and a wonderful evening for y'all on the other side of the world. God bless you all.